Hey, we've got breaking news on this edition of Dolphins Today, and that is why you subscribe. Anytime the Dolphins make a move, we've got you covered from all angles. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this breaking news on Dolphins Today. Well, you knew it was only a matter of time, at least we all kind of expected the Dolphins to make a move, and welcome into this edition of Dolphins Today. I'm your host, Jake Ritma, and as many, many anticipated, Miami has gone out and signed a veteran pass rusher to help maybe mitigate some of the injuries and really find some bodies that are healthy enough to suit up for the aqua and orange. So this coming into the Dolphins newswire from Mike Garofolo from NFL Network. The Dolphins are signing veteran pass rusher Justin Houston, confirmed from a couple of different sources. Banged up at the edge, Miami adds an experienced player at that spot heading into the postseason. And I think maybe saying banged up at the edge is a little bit of an understatement. Oh my goodness, if you've followed the Miami Dolphins, you know they've been dropping like flies, unfortunately. And this is kind of par for the course sometimes, such as life in the NFL. It's a next man up mentality, and that next man is the veteran Justin Houston, who brings a wealth of experience. It's a guy that's made four Pro Bowls over the course of his season and hasn't played a ton in 2023 as a member of the Carolina Panthers. You see at the bottom there, nine tackles, half a sack in seven games played. But you look at the career body of work, and there's some numbers that jump out to you. 515 tackles, 132 tackles for loss, over 100 sacks on his career resume, and that's in 170 games played. So, yes, a wealth of experience. Justin Houston, a guy that's been around, played for several different teams, really made his mark in Kansas City, spent some time with the Colts, and as well as the Ravens before playing just this past season for Carolina. So overall, there's a lot to be excited about, I think, if you're a Miami Dolphins fan. And like I've said time and time again, it's worth repeating. I think we saw a move like this coming, but I got to know from you. Let me know in the comments, how do you grade the signing of Justin Houston? A, B, C, D, or F? Let me know in the comments. And for me, I think, uh, depending on how you want to evaluate, the fact that the Dolphins needed a guy at the defensive end position or the edge rusher position, I'd give it an NA. And as far as what Justin Houston can bring to the table, well, we won't have to wait long to find out. Saturday night at Kansas City will be a prime opportunity to see if he can make some meaningful contributions and some impactful plays. But either way, when Dolphins News breaks, we've got you covered. That's why you subscribe to the Dolphins Today channel, our largest and fastest growing channel on YouTube with the aqua and orange covered at all angles. And like this, when breaking news happens, we've got you covered and we make a video anytime the Dolphins make a move. So with that said, we'll continue breaking this one down and provide a little bit more information on Justin Houston and how we can help this Dolphins team. But first, I want to give a a huge shout out to today's presenting sponsor, Help Making Dolphins Today possible. That is America's number one meal delivery service factor. And hey, we know the calendar has turned the page into the new year. It's 2024, folks. So Factor is here to help you get started on your new year resolutions so you're ready for the new year. And that's where Factor comes in with ready-to-eat meal that takes all the stress out of meal planning and it sets you up for success in the new years. Resolutions are great, but how about making choices that lead to success? And it starts with your meals being delivered straight to your door. So you skip the cooking fatigue, you skip the dishes. That's my personal favorite part. I hate doing dishes. And with Factor, the meals are delivered straight to your door. It only takes two minutes to heat up and then you enjoy, or if you're like me, you devour them. I mean, I'm telling you, the Chipotle pork chop is tough to die for. I also love the red pepper filet mignon, mm, if I'm feeling fancy. But with over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and so much more. Plus, you also have over 55 weekly add-ons to choose from. You've got a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart those successful 
choices. So don't waste any time and don't take my word for it. Find out for yourself at DefectorMeals.com slash FinsChat50 and use code FinsChat50 to get 50% off. That's code FinsChat50 at FactorMeals.com slash FinsChat50 to get 50% off. Off. And what do I always tell you? We love you and we care about you, so we want to make it easy on you. We'll put that link right in the description of today's video as well as the comments. So there's no excuse. You just click on that link, factormeals.com slash finschat50, and use code finschat50 to get 50% off. Now, I think the elephant in the room, if you will, with the Miami Dolphins is the fact that they've been decimated by injuries. And I think if you talk to anybody closely associated with the Miami Dolphins, they'll tell you it's not an excuse, but when you look at certain components of this Miami Dolphins team in different positions on the depth chart, you're going to see guys out for the season, out for the playoffs, out for several games. And it almost feels like there's been an injury plague with the Miami Dolphins. So again, not to sound like a broken record, but I think we all saw a move like this coming. And because we're talking about the Dolphins' edge rushers, I have to provide the unfortunate reminder that two of the game's best will not be suiting up for the Aqua and Orange in the remainder of the 2024 postseason. Jalen Phillips blew out his Achilles in that Black Friday game against the Jets, whereas Bradley Chubb tore an ACL against the Baltimore Ravens in Week 17. And the hits keep on coming because Andrew Van Ginkle left Week 18's game against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday night football and is likely, he's for sure out for the game against Kansas City, but likely out for the remainder of the playoffs as well. So that leaves Justin Houston, Emmanuel Agba, and of course Melvin Ingram, who played pretty well on Sunday night football. And this is important because the Miami Dolphins defense as a whole has really been the strength of the defense in many cases and as you can see at the bottom of your screen there they are one of the league's best at getting pressure on the quarterback in fact they're third in the nfl with 56 sacks for the season only the ravens and chiefs with more sacks and the NFL. So very impressive there. It's also impressive is their pressure percentage rate. Heading into week 18, only the Chiefs had a better pressure percentage rate. So part of Vic Fangio's defensive scheme is the ability to get pressure on the quarterback, and the Dolphins have excelled in that area. So let's hope Justin Houston can continue that component of the defense despite guys like Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb, and now Andrew Van Ginkle being limited and out with injuries. And that, again, goes to show as part of the conversation around the Miami Dolphins that the noteworthy injuries on defense, we couldn't even fit them all on the screen. I know there's more than this. There's been uh, several games with guys out of the lineup and then back in. Javon Holland comes to mind. But here's who the Dolphins will be without for sure on defense, you know, Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb, Andrew Van Ginkle, Jerome Baker. That was some unfortunate news that we brought to you yesterday that his first game back after missing four games after the injury against the Washington Commanders late in the season, finally got a chance on Sunday Night Football and played really well, but had the wrist injury, underwent surgery yesterday. Jerome Baker gone for the playoffs. Xavier Howard, there's some very, very small belief that he might be able to play against the Chiefs, but it is very, very unlikely. Mike McDaniel said as much yesterday, they're preparing not to have Xavier Howard for the game against the Kansas City Chiefs. But if the season were to continue, you'd hope he'd be able to make his way back into the lineup. But again, that just scratches the surface with the number of really uh, noteworthy injuries that the Dolphins have been dealing with um, for really just the latter portion of the season and into the postseason. But such is life in the NFL, and nobody asks you and is going to feel sorry for the Miami Dolphins. So, And part of that is turning the page, adding next man up. In this case, it's Justin Houston. So want to ask for your honest opinion based on the number of injuries and try not to sound too down in the dumps, but the injuries are a part of the conversation. What is your confidence level in the Dolphins defense scale for me? One through 10 in the comments. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this edition of Dolphins Today. And if you love the Miami Dolphins, this is your one-stop shop on YouTube, bringing you daily Dolphins content, as well as live shows throughout the week. And, of course, our live watch parties, which are always a good time, no matter what happens at the game. We get loud, we get rowdy, and have a good time. So make sure you join us for a playoff watch party Saturday night. We'll be on the air an hour before kickoff. 
Want to thank producer Jake Chipper on the ones and twos today, helping us bring you all the Dolphins content. And as always, thanks for tuning in and subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Dolphins Today.